Hello, this is Jeff Robertson with Penton Audio USA and Atis Electronics, and this is a short tutorial video on how to set up your message player within your design in your UAP and also handle your WAV file storage and transfer and management. I'll open up my design here, and your message player was right here in your component list, right there, almost next to the bottom where it says message player. So I just drag and release. Now, a couple things to realize about the message player. It doesn't matter how many messages that you want to put in there as long as your total record time does not exceed the 52 minutes. Standard file format that you want to convert or at least encode your audio files. They need to be WAV files and encode them for 16-bit, 16 kilohertz. If you notice, another thing about the message player is I have two output nodes. That is because the message player within the UAP can actually play two simultaneous messages as well as you can route some messages to go out one output node and you can route some messages to come out of say the second output node I've got like a two level Ducker system right here and I got background music and this is just a you know a demo file here so what I can do is I could say all my files that I set up to be transmitted out of uh, channel one I'm going to have go into this ducker. So now this is going to override any of the background music or at least duck the background music. So this could be my normal promotional messages, sales messages, my no smoking messages, my loading zone only messages. You know, all the normal day to day message repeating that's going on. I can have out of my second output channel in the message player actually go to this other ducker. And what that does is this will take priority over the background music and the benign messages and these could be my emergency messages maybe they're evacuation maybe they're fire alarm triggered maybe they're triggered by a security system or the weather station or just a manual lockdown button or what have you so that's one good application for having two different messages going out two different channels and routed or prioritized differently so once you understand that let's move on to how we set the message player up the first thing I want to do is I'll double click on the message player. Now when I go into the message player block, I will have the event settings and I'll have the music management. The event settings are where we set up how things are actually triggered or scheduled. An event is anything that's automatically supposed to be happening or an event. Uh, just say like a bell schedule event or anything like that. But it doesn't have to be a scheduled event. It could be triggered it could be a preset change, it could be a trigger for a control input, all those are event settings. The UAP music management obviously is how we actually handle the music within our system. Let's go with the music management which are our WAV files and my first thing is I have to get my WAV files which are in my computer into the UAP so I can actually schedule those or have those mapped to triggers. If you look right here it says message storage which is actually my library within my computer that I've buffered all of my messages and over here is my machine storage and I can transfer any of the messages I have on my computer over to the machine. So let's take a quick look at my library. Now, I have a handful of ones, but there's one that I want to put in here. And let's just say SOS that I know I have already converted to a 16-bit, 16 kilohertz WAV file, but I don't see it in here. So what I have to do is I will close this. We go up to our view window and we go down to our WAV file manager. Now the WAV file manager, this is our list of all the WAV files which are in our computer that we transfer into our library. Once it's in our computer library, that's basically a buffer file that now we can go with the message file and actually transfer them into the UAP. So what I want to do is say I'm going to add a file from my, I add a library for my file. And I just have my music file. This could be any of my, you know, libraries, whatever my thing. And I'll say, okay, let's do the SOS. And I'll put that in there. So there's my file, and I sit there and I say, okay, I want to select this and I want to save this to my library. There you go, that fast, it saved it to the library, and now I can close this. So now I just transferred the SOS to my library. Now, if I go to the message player and we go to music management, now if I do a search, now we see my SOS WAV file is indeed, there's 16 bits, 16 hertz. Um, it is actually in my file so I can click on any of these and let's just say let's bring them all into my machine and it's right here is to store the WAV file into the UAP or basically you see the arrow pointing to the right we're going to transfer this over to the UAP and there, that's because there's already a couple of them in there that have the same number or name so it, when it goes to override it gives you that error message 
And there we go. We are almost done. Excellent. Now we can see right here that there's all these are actually physically stored into the UAP digital audio processor. I could close this out. Let's go back into this, go to music management, and now I can just search what's in the machine and you can see there are all my files. I have this actually routed to go through output number one and I just happen to have a self-powered speaker in here uh, hooked up to number one. Now what I can do is if I was connected I could select any one of these files and actually manually play it but you will see I cannot do this unless I'm connected. If I try to do this not being connected it gives me or error message says I should connect first. Plus remember I put message players in here and I transferred files and everything in so the first thing we need to do as always is compile our design there we go and we need to store the design into the machine alright and yes we will enable audio and we are complete so now as you can see we are connected so now if we go to message player let's go to music management and let's search for all the files that are in the machine I could select the one I want to play and hopefully this will come out of my speaker It should only play once and then it will cut off. There you go. Uh, we have other ones. Here's a three tone gong. We'll play that. Excellent. And here's another one I created for all the heavy metal maniacs out there. There you go. So that is indeed how you set up your message player and do your wave file management into your message player.